Hello folks, very interesting that we have a uh, very big difference between, I haven't looked at the graphs for a long time, got the link back up. So basically what's very interesting is the difference between uh, the two stations in Antarctica. Okay, and there's actually th three or four, and I'm not used to the new graphs yet, but if you see there, and as also as we see there, there's a dramatic difference of what we've seen in the past, uh, signatures on the graphs. And this is current right there. So uh, keeping, you know, we already know earthquakes like crazy. So I guess basically what I'll do is I'll scroll here through all the graphs. So you can see, uh, you can see some differential now because we don't have the uh, massive of the seven point. And there was 7.1 recorded on ROSE and so forth yesterday. Uh, 7.1 down in Mexico. Uh, I'll go to RSOE and see what we got there now. Uh, they're pretty trustable because basically someone calls in from a graph that's that. There is going to be disconnect somewhere and we think we are starting to see it. Uh, we've been seeing tons of uh, ticks taken off of quakes. Uh, the solar it's storms that people try to call it, which it actually is. CME in space is a solar storm. It's not going to end anytime soon because the sun is in the supergiants. But you know, let letting you know about that right after pretty much uh, Fuka Fudge Up because I was able to see by the high speed flybys that basically there had to be something from way up high, outer space. Okay, and then I'll take and show you that. The space station is not that high, you know, it doesn't have that high of a uh, orbit. And speaking of orbits, I'm kind of biting my tongue, but anyway, you can sift through the poop. If you watch the poop reports, you can watch any news organization you want to watch. Uh, where's the footage of crackle, bang, fireworks? Because the idea that, and then, then that's going to be nicely, you know what, bake, faked because basically there is a new satellite in orbit ladies and gentlemen so that's just a fact so anything that you can see of footage of something because there's nothing up yet uh, now even though the magnetosphere is quite calm right now and it is it's very unusually calm right now uh, we're still getting quakes because probably of slowdown a slowdown on the magnetosphere is basically still going to give us what we're going to get. And basically what we're getting with this calmness is uh, earlier there was a 5.4 or something like that down in Mexico. 5.3. But then with the ticks, you know, when we make a quote, it's just like sometimes it's just we're quoting what we read off the deal and it could probably have been a 5.6 or something like that because they ended up with a 4.6 aftershock. Uh, and this is where we're sitting at about right now, and then I'll just keep scrolling down through the deal, and you will realize how much earthquake activity is going on, and this is only like, I believe, a little bit more than 48 hours, okay? There's usually all that's usually on here. Okay, it's no more than three days worth of earthquakes right here, folks. So if anybody's new to the site, and this, this was a massive, it was an 8.7, it was the only thing, actually 8.9, a lot of people in China said the mags hit at too, and basically I'm pretty darn sure that it was probably something, uh, there, I'll scroll around with the quakes all over the world, and I think I can... There we go. And like I say, we got an unusual signature between, and the last we had lo real low was a 5.4. So, and then you connect the dots, just like following the money. So it brings a fire, and also, as we zoom back in here, I believe the ring of fire the United States of America if anybody's not noticing what you're looking at 
and yes, all these quakes have been happening. And uh, and here's the space station. And when I mean real, I mean the I, the factuality that, like I've said, when they interviewed the astronauts, a certain news organization asked the question of, "What do you see out the window when you're not looking at Earth?" Okay. Now, these are stars as the space station moves quite quickly, and as you see the rush of Earth right there. Okay. And light propagation from outer space. Now that's Earth down there in clouds and this, the shuttle is moving quite rapidly, okay? The photo catches the uh, star in action. And we know that's not electrical magna because you know what electrical magna looks like. And a very interesting looking whatever uh, gas coming off of the space station or whatever, or going by something in space in that low orbit. And basically I'm going to take you to a shot where you can see from Earth, you can see the orbit uh, in the evening time of, at least with the CMTs and, and uh, electrical magna coming towards Earth, giving us a nice glow, and we'll take you to that. Now this is a space station, okay? so. Anyway, there's an actual shot of looking off into space instead of just looking down at Earth. And this is a shot, I believe, from Wisconsin. Catches the uh, orbit of the space station on a time lapse. I believe either that or on a shot. And there you go with what we are getting in the evening skies of auroral uh, action from the Midwest of you, okay, lower Wisconsin, and I think I can take it down, and you can see compressed to the northeastern Wisconsin, and then there's some other stuff from uh, Michigan. I'll go take a look at, and then Prophetic Sears got another. Uh, you know, you get to see because he's got a lot of connections because basically he's got a lot of people that. Uh, I think he talks religion a lot on there, so he's got a lot of people that come in there. And uh, you can go ahead and see this at his, uh, he got a hold of some footage that you can actually tell that it was from. But it's hard to tell for sure also, too. I mean, he could have got tricked. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he's tricking anybody, but the idea that somebody had some trades going on, as you can see that one dude is still sitting at his computer. I'm going to kind of push that back because it's very interesting because you can see a lot of stuff could come hitting this guy in the head and he's been through the other quake before possibly probably knew that the idea that hey no, nothing hit us the last time there was a big one if this is the real big one uh, a lot of people are sitting there at these desks in this quake and not going anywhere most people would get the hell out man maybe they're up a few floors it's hard to tell but uh, some people are getting the heck out and grabbing files and somebody's making sure that he gets the last trade in or something like that. Check this out. So, got to stay in the market. Got to stay in the market. Okay, that one's getting the hell out of Dodge. The one with the yellow shirt. And Dan, a couple people have to make sure they get their trades in. Can't lose, can't lose contact with the uh, possibly getting some money out of somebody we're making some money here so anyway some interesting footage from Indonesia or any does it doesn't matter somewhere in Asia okay so and then I'll freeze it here on the on the end and you'll see the uh, as far as we can tell that should be from the last one it could have been from the other one but anyway, I think it's probably pretty much realistically from the last 8.9. China said a lot of mags hit there when that Indonesian one hit at 8.7. And then uh, because of the way that people would stay at the desk, if there was the big one before and stuff like that, you think they'd get out. But then again, was it the one before, the one in 2006 when it killed people because the people were at the desk, they didn't get the hell out of the room. 
So, but you would think since they're kind of sitting at their desk and going to make sure they keep the business going uh, with the computer, that the factuality that it might have been, this pretty much should have been from the 8.7 recent just um, a couple of days ago. And this footage seems to be pretty realistic also because it pretty much matches up with about the size of the wave that hit, uh, and actually this looks bigger than the wave that hit that, that volleyball footage that we've seen. So some footage is starting to leak out of the big wave hit. So even though they didn't continue the tsunami warning, they had some pretty big ass wave. Because you've seen the calm just before. So I think I can pop it back just right so that you don't have to rewind. Let's watch the calm, I believe, or at least somewhat. There, you got that. So, I think they had calmness just before that they showed. I don't know if they get it coming in. I don't know what they're shooting at here. And then here it comes. There's early calm. There you go. So they knew to go down and take a shot wherever they shot this from. And then they got the big wave. So, and we know that it's New Zealand showed footage, uh, uh, RSOE showed that New Zealand had a big wave that reported and there was all kinds of ra wave reports if you looked at RSOE and you can go back and look at my video of that day of the quick 8.7 a lot of people in China said it, it registered at 8.9 on the mag and originally you'll hear it right here that at 8.9 because they don't lie they looked at the mag right when it hit and it was 8.9 So anyway, and like I showed on the data yesterday, the idea that was some massive water movement. So it'd be unique to go and see. Uh, I'm going to try to get a link from somebody that I got buds with. And there is a regeneration of the activity. It's kind of being held back and being able to be viewed, though. So this was and then they knocked it down to an 8.7 I suppose Indonesia saying you know there whether it was two or one but anyway you can see that originally the mag was 8.9 and that's just what they saw in China also so and I haven't watched this so I think it's just basically gonna be you know no footage of but let me go ahead and speed through here and some computer repair place had uh, security cameras or something like that that caught all the computers that they work on over there somewhere. Looks like a computer repair place. Either that or it's a in computer investigation place. Looking at someone's hard drives after someone has either thrown their computer away or traded it in. Okay, so either it getting repaired or something. So, anyway, you can see the computers somewhat wavering you see them shaking and I mean yeah it could be a fan but if a fan was blown on you the paper would really kind of flop around those are repair repair notes or something like that hanging on the front of computers up there on these shelves and anyway you can kind of see the shaking and movement that that this is what they first footage that they could put on it might have been someone close by in a neighboring building or something that had the footage or something this was the fastest stuff that they could throw on from showing that there was earthquake action over in Indonesia when they showed it. So, got that footage and then some people leaving a building, but I think people have seen that footage. Keywords may, they said may, keyword may, and this is the most accurate and truthful right there, the idea that that went up, okay, 17,000 miles an hour. 300 mile high orbit it's up there okay 
that's a very clear May and perhaps, May and perhaps 300 mile high orbit right there.